So I live in Texas. I think Texas is awesome. There's a bunch of stuff on the news right now that's just a bunch of crazy stuff trying to scare people. I think one of the ways to not be scared in a situation is to be prepared. So I wanted to show you all something y'all could do now to prepare yourselves in case things did happen. One of the most important things you need is clean water. And I'm going to show you all a way to clean water, either that you could catch from rainwater or from your local river or pond, that sort of thing. And uh, you really don't need much to do it. So let's get into it. Okay, the first thing we're going to need is a container. You could use three buckets for this. You could use like a big rain catching barrel. You could use like a 14 inch wide pipe, like PVC pipe. I personally chose this because I can carry it around and it has a spigot on it. It just has a lot of things that make sense for my application. Here's what it looks like on the inside. The first thing I'm going to do is add just a layer of gravel on the bottom. I already cleaned this gravel, so I'm going to add that real quick. So I've seen different ways of people doing this. The gravel at the bottom, that way <clears throat> when I dump water through, it has a little bit of area to collect at the bottom where it's clean water. So after we do the gravel, we're gonna use charcoal, sand, and then gravel again on the top, which I've seen different ways of people doing that. I think the one that makes the most sense that I've seen other than that is putting your charcoal at the top. That way you can change it and refresh it whatever you want to, which that does make sense. So. The next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to separate the layers. This is what I'm using. This is like filter cloth for aquariums. And basically I cut it to size and I'm just going to stick this on the top of those pebbles. Um, you don't necessarily have to have this. Things you can use for this layer, you could use like a piece of cotton from an old t-shirt or something, but I just like the idea of using this, so I'm going to use this. So the next layer, this is activated charcoal. And I'm gonna put a nice layer of this. This cleans water. There's a lot of different kinds of activated charcoal you could use. You could make your own. You can literally buy like barbecuing charcoal, which is the same thing. Just don't get it with like any additives. But this is basically what it looks like. Just little tiny pebbles. You could crush this more, but I'm pretty happy with the consistency of this. So I'm gonna add a good amount of this to Okay, same thing as before, filter floss. I'm gonna put that on top of the charcoal. Perfect, we're up to about here. We're gonna use sand. You can use any sand. You could go to a river and just spray it out really well. I chose to buy some high quality sand, so I don't really have to worry about that. But... Put in the next layer of sand. And then we're going to put on filter cloth again. The filter cloth is going to remove particles from the water and it's also going to keep the layers separated from each other. Here's our last layer. This is gravel. Okay, here's pretty much the final product. We're going to run some water through this and then I'm going to try some to see how it tastes. We ran a couple of buckets of river water through it and as far as I'm concerned, it's drinkable. So, Looks pretty nice. It's not like 100% clear, but I think we just kept running it, you know. Pretty good. Tasty water. A little bit of preparation today saves you a bunch of heartache in the future. Clean water is important.